hello guys welcome 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 back welcome back to my channel i am happy to have you guys here today now this video today will be focused on life lessons of course for my young adult women out there hopefully you can benefit one or two things from this video now the first point that i would like to raise will be on being responsible and I'm going to start by focus using this Bible verse, which is Romans 14, 12, which says, Responsibility is knowing and doing what both God and others are expecting from me. Now, one of the lessons that I would like to draw from is to have is knowing that without god in this life nothing can be done so starting from your youth you want to have a personal relationship with god and knowing what he wants you to be what your responsibilities are by while serving him while worshiping him while believing in him as well as what the responsibility of your your family, your parents, your community. You want to also know what your responsibilities are in that aspect as we're responsible for while we are believing in God's word, while we are serving God and worshiping God. One of the responsibilities is studying our word, studying the word of God, worshiping him, going to church, um, praying, fellowshipping with other believers and to follow in the Bible. Now, also while we are following God's word, one of it is living a holy life, um, you know, managing our finances right, keeping our body pure and our mind pure, free of iniquity and sin. Now, one of that reason is, you know, we want to make sure that we are living right, we are living holy. Now, the first point will be to be grateful in life in whatever situations or whatever circumstance that you find yourself in be happy be thankful be grateful because it could be worse or somebody else is praying to god to have to be in that position that you're in you know sometimes we find ourselves in unfavorable condition or situation that we question the reason why we're in it or we ask god the reason why me why me but by being grateful, it shifts our mind and our focus from whatever we are going through to being grateful and being thankful and not taking life for granted. So be grateful, be thankful, thank you, um, thankful for your parents, thank you, thankful for your family members. And also is another point is being responsible. Now on being responsible, I'm going to use, um, I would like for you to look up Romans 14, 12, which is responsibility is knowing and doing what both God and others are expecting from me, from you, right? Which involves response, being responsible for how we might handle our finances, how we treat our family members, how we act towards other people in the community and, um, also, you know, following God's commandments and, um, you know, setting goals for long-term goals and short-term goals. And lastly, also being responsible for our body, you know, which is part of living an holy life and being living a life of purity. purity. Now, you know, by doing all of this, you know, it helps you to, you know, to live a healthy life. It helps you to live a you know, it keeps your life simple. It helps your, it helps you to manage stress. It helps you to manage your life in a better way, and um, you can avoid a lot of, a lot of um situations in the future. Okay, so also being part of being responsible while we are being responsible, we want to be mindful of what we eat. I know this is I'm a victim. <laughs> Let me not say victim, but I am I know I am not good when it comes to what I put in my body. But now I'm being more mindful as to what I eat. Um knowing that this body is only, you know, this is you know, we only have one life. So in the best way that I can, I'm trying to manage what I eat and you know exercising and eating right and um Another point to being responsible with our body is 
as a young adult woman, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, you are keeping your body pure, staying to yourself, being selfish when it comes to being sexual with the opposite partner. First, you know, you want to run away from sin, being um, sexual immorality. You want to run away from that. Not all, not only because God doesn't want us to be you know, to, to practice some act, such act until we are married, but also because there's a lot of consequences that comes with that. Number one of that is, of course, you know, pregnancy. You have different type of illnesses and diseases that could, that you could contact in the act. In the, uh, so you want to make sure that you're keeping your body care clean in that way. And also, um, uh, because part of being also part of being responsible I would like to touch a little bit more on that is because oftentimes as women we are i've seen it so many times uh, we are being left with the responsibility of caring for the children uh, so you want to be responsible for yourself and knowing that okay once i have a child or two there's a lot of changes that comes with that mentally physically everything is going to change your finances is going to change so you want to make sure that not to say be you know god want us to produce he want us to have children but you want to make sure you're with the right you know you you make that once you get to that stage of life you're ready to care for the children alongside with your spouse with your partner so you don't want to be get yourself in a situation whereby you have a, 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 a situation with the opposite sex um, and you end up having a child out of that and once you have a child out of that it's so easy for that for your friend that you're not in a committed relationship with for so easy for that man or the, the the guy to walk out and say hey you know i really love you but guess what i have to i don't love you strong enough for me to you know for whatever reason you know they could decide to walk away maybe they're not financially ready mentally ready emotionally ready for different reasons and at the end of the day you have to carry the load of having to care for either one two three four or five children and if you do not have the 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 if you're not mentally strong if you're not financially strong if you're not emotionally strong you end up bringing children into this world that you're not you know, you haven't set a proper future for, you know. So in order to avoid a lot of consequences that could be very, very disastrous, heartbreaking, to, to avoid a lot of tears down the road, focus on yourself during this time, during the season. Be selfish. Selfish with your body is very, very, this is very, very crucial. Because once you have a child or two, your life will change and you will not be children of blessings from the from the most high God. And you just want to make sure that you're, you know, you're ready for it. Okay. Um, and we are also happy that, you know, we are able to give birth and bring another life into this world. But we want to be responsible to make sure that we're not bringing another child into this world to suffer or to say, why did you have me when you're not really ready and prepared for me? So let's be responsible in this area. And with finances, bring me to the next topic. With finances, make sure that you uh, you plan your future. Make sure. All right, now finances, this is a huge one. So you want to, like I said, you know, you want to make sure that you're very selfish in this season of your life to make sure that you're, if you're in school, you're living with your parents, you know, follow their rules, follow their guidelines, listen to them, do what you have to do, take advantage of the time that you're at home with your parents because you don't have any bills to pay and if they want you to pay bills i'm sure is to give you some sort of structure i'm sure is to discipline you i'm sure it's to teach you about money management so you want to you know listen to them take your time don't move out yet don't be in a rush you know this is the time that you just relax let them take care of you let them be the parents right now, like I said, if they're asking you to, you know, pay a bill, that is to teach you, you know, so that when you're actually in the real world, you know how to manage your finances and to organize your, your bills and to, you know, to leave 
better independently better when you're not under their roof so you want to make sure that you you know set your goals focus on school get your degree do what you have to do and um, you know create your life plan don't be distracted don't just i know things will happen things will happen you know failure is bound to happen you know so like i said you know also you know going back to you know focusing on god failure will happen Failure will happen, but don't give up when you face challenges. Don't give up. Keep pushing. Keep striving hard. There's no really no. It's not going to be perfect. You know, life is not made to be up. You know, perfect. We will have situations that we arise, but we can only try. And all all we can do by trying is to create a plan, creating some sort of a life plan, creating some sort of structure. That way, we can live a better life now. Find out your mistakes, learn from your mistakes, pick yourself up when you fall down. Uh, try not to focus on love, hacks of forgiveness from others. You know, it's, it all ties in all together. Pace yourself, you know, even though I'm saying be selfish, this is your selfish season. Be focused on yourself. That doesn't mean you shouldn't have fun. You know, there has to be a balance. Hang out with your friends, but I'm just saying be mindful when it comes to you know, being sexual, you know, why your friends, your friends will be talking about certain things in school. And of course you want to find out, you know, what is that about? The mind is going to be curious. So you just want to make sure that you, you are disciplined when it comes to that area of your life, because once it's tasted, it's like, Oh, yummy. <laughs> I have to go back and get some more. So you want to make sure that you also pace yourself. Don't go crazy buying expensive things that you really do not. They're nice to have, you know, but like I said, everything, there's a time and space for everything. Set yourself up to, because once you get older and you find yourself in debt, it is difficult to get out of that debt. It can be very difficult. And you don't want to end up leaving your life just working and paying debt. Working and paying debt. You want to get to a point where by you're working, you know, you have... And you're using your money for leisure, for vacation. Now, at that point, yes, you can start investing in some good, nice... I mean, all the time, you can start buying expensive bags and shoes and you know but it's okay to you know to start every now and then but the point is to to prioritize your goals yourself your life um that way when you're in a certain age you can relax and your life will just you know go smooth smoothly and um there shouldn't be so much need for struggle uh, like i said you know life is nice sounds smooth the way i'm saying it but life is not like that i know but i'm just saying in a way to better plan ourselves and um, to avoid bumping into mistakes and um we can't do without mistakes as human beings but just to live a more you know peaceful life right um this is the reason why i'm making this video so i talked about finances and i talked about personal life as to how we can have a relationship with god and keeping ourselves you know pure until possibly you know marriage you want to make sure that you keep yourself pure until marriage but for the most part i believe this is it for my video also do what makes life meaningful have fun travel um have fun with your friends and family um enjoy life you know you're not supposed to be uptight 24 you know 24 7 you're still supposed to live life i want you to still have fun but i just want you to be mindful as to the kind of fun you have the kind of is creating a goal for yourself or your future having a plan for your life especially as women this is very important not also not having trying not to have child or children out of wedlock this is very very important uh, because at the end of the day like i mentioned earlier you know, you will have more of the responsibility and your life will be pretty much on hold until those children are older. Now, it's tougher if you have to handle the children by yourself as a single parent. You know, that will, that can't,
keep you behind and make things just a little bit more even more difficult so just you know just few things to be mindful of exercising make sure that you incorporate exercising into your day uh, because you know you can achieve anything without a good health we all know that so yeah so i touched uh mentioned god finances health sexually and what's the last one you know mentally making sure that you get enough rest rest you know educate yourself you know know you know what you like what you don't like um and just be easy live life you know create a simple life for yourself and um yeah thank you for watching that's pretty much all i have for you in this video i hope like i said i hope this video will help one or two of my lovely young adult women out there until next time stay beautiful bye